This is how I get ready for the day, guys. So, you know, times are tough, so, you know, I just gotta stretch, I gotta get ready for the day outside. It's a good thing we are green screened right now, though, right? Oh, yeah. That's super good. Because yeah, this, 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 this probably happening. wouldn't be the best thing to put on YouTube, no? Probably not. Yeah, so definitely good that, you know, we got this new green screen. Um, it's it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's like 3D. Like, we're just, like, chilling, like, where are we right now, bro? Uh, just... We're just like here. in a forest or something. Oh, there's like a concrete wall back there. What the hell? Dang, how did I know to put that image? That's weird. Anyways, good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another vlog. Before we start today's video, there's two things I need to talk to you guys about. Number three, my foot just got caught on that. Number two, the main important thing, apparently YouTube changed their like subscription boxes. So if you guys are subscribed to me, apparently YouTube changed it. So they only put what they think is the highlights inside of your subscription box. Go to your settings and you change something to like see all or something like that. I wanted to talk about that really quickly. So if you guys like my videos and you want to make sure you see them every single time, make sure you do that. Number two, if you want to win your name permanently tattooed on the inside of the warehouse, order anything from the website, guys. We have t-shirts, socks, like literally anything, and then we're painting 10 of your names on the wall inside of the Tennessee factory. And that brings me to number three. We are currently up north a little bit. We are by my warehouse and we are house shopping today, guys. This is like gonna be one of the biggest days of my entire life. I just turned 18 years old and I'm looking to buy my first house. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna film. However, I have my friend Mateo here. Hey. He is going to be recording for me today. He's gonna be vlogging. Kind of like a third party filmer, right? I wanna be able to actually enjoy looking at houses. So that's what we're doing today. Taylor is here, my mom is here, and her car is finally done. Look at this thing. Alright, you guys ready to go house shopping? You hear that? You hear the crickets? Officially house shopping. Yo, it's so quiet. It's weird vlogging. We're gonna be checking all these houses, guys. And uh, let me know what you think about each house in the comments down below. I'm not gonna be doing like a ton of normal vlogging. I kind of want this to be like lifestyle, just like our actual experience checking out all the houses. This is probably more exciting for you because like to be honest with, with you guys, I, I like more care about like the land and the garage space like because I just want to do outdoor activities with no neighbors telling me what to do. This materialistic stuff, it's cool, but it's not really like what I care about. I just want to have fun pretty much. So this is why like she gets the I reaction. Like the like, do you know how many activities you could do in just the closet? <laughs> this closet's like as big as the room in our old house. This is only one of four houses we're looking at. Okay, this is only the first house out of many. I think this is like five to seven acres, they said. Like, I wanna find a house that doesn't have an HOA, which is like a homeowner's association. So like, basically my neighbors can't tell me what to do. Cause um, I really just like, that's like the main thing I want is the comfortability of not having neighbors like that get mad at me. So check this out. So this is our five acre lot. Just think about the possibilities. Like, I genuinely, just want to have as much fun as possible. Just want to be able to ride dirt bikes and you know do donuts in a, in a razor as much as I can. People go to giant houses and they look for like the architecture and like and the kitchen and all that stuff. Like I didn't even care about the inside to be quite honest with you guys. We basically have a farm. See the ho we have horses, lizards, and squirrels. And Matches then, the GTR quite that's, nicely. That's the GTR shed. Yeah. See it now, mobbing like going like 80 in the, in the razor. Mateo, do you see that? Does he come with a house? Let's hope so. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, look. I literally said Taylor in a normal voice. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking normally. She's like 100 feet away. By the way, everyone, while you're seeing all these houses, like this is only the first one, please give me your feedback on what you think about it. Cause, uh, yeah, it comes with ice. I think rappers used to live here. I like to call a, um, a shining, a shining piece. We'll leave this here, we'll come back for it. Oh, I know that was a super quick tour for you guys. I didn't want to put a whole lot of the footage that we filmed, we did film a lot, but um, I kind of want to keep it like open so you don't see everything. We are going to the next house, I will see you there. We just got to the second house, and if you hear in the background, that's our neighbor, he has a helicopter. What are these called? Yeah. Booties.
This, this house was like reverse clickbait. Like it's better looking on the inside than it looked from the outside. Uh, when we first got here, I'm not gonna lie, I judged it like a book, but don't judge a book by its cover because it didn't, I was like, eh, it doesn't look very good for thumbnails. <laughs> okay, no, but the inside's insane. This is the master bedroom. The difference between this and the other house, um, the other house had like a little room on this side and then the master and two other bedrooms on this side. This one, the master's like on this side, so that's cool. Really Look nice. down the hallway. Look how far it goes across. We could have like drag races. I got four car garage. Plus all this room. So Plus all this room. This is just, and this is the, dri the driveway's right here. Okay, it's time to check out my favorite part. We gotta see the land. Tell me that's not for pizza, or is this a grill? Just a grill. It looks like a wood fire pizza thing. I could tell people that. Yeah, it's a pizza thing. It's mine, actually. Yeah, you can actually wood fire pizzas right here. You can make your own pizza. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, I told you. No, it's actually a grill. Don't tell anyone. So it's actually kind of funny being here because like we're trying to put everything into like a reality. So we're thinking Maverick lives in a shack at his house. It would only be fair that Maverick lives in the apartment. Like this is where Maverick would have to live. So think about it. We're all chilling in the living room, like doing our thing. Cause I want a lot of my friends to live with me. That's like the whole goal. He'd be like, all right guys, I gotta go. And then the house is way over there. Can't even see it. it just, a Maverick, just imagine Maverick walking back here at night, every night to come back to his barn apartment. I want an ostrich. This could be ostrich farm. We could wash our ostriches right there. Oh, is this Maverick's apartment? This is where Maverick would live. Wait, this is really nice. Come here, little guy. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, there's a spider. I got scared now. <laughs> Maverick, we'll have him saved here for you. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Taylor, you were right. Why are there dead birds hanging? I don't think you can really see it on camera. But Hold on, okay, there's not only one dead bird, but look on that one. Do you think that's like to attract flies or is that supposed to counterbalance something? Do we have to have dead birds hanging at our house? Oh yeah, that's, that's the it's perk. It's like essential, like it's part of the HOA? You yeah, have yeah, to. yeah. Look at that. That's a thousand dollars a month. What are they for? It just scares away the other woodpeckers. Because the woodpeckers will like mess the house up. That makes sense. Woodpeckers are very opportunistic, so they're looking for any little crevice that they can get into. Like a gang member in the bird community. <laughs> they like know not to mess with you. Every time we like, we keep moving back and there's different stages. Like we were all, the, we were way up there and then there's this as a surprise. And I was like, okay, we're done. No, look at this. Fully set up for horses. Like all these houses, like I feel like I need horses or ostriches. There's more. It wasn't done. Oh my god. I'm talking about like they were saying the other house was five acres. This is five acres. You can't even see our house. See that green over there? That's the house. If you can even see that far. And then it goes back to this fence. We can start our own country. We're starting our own country. I'm gonna build a house and like we're gonna have like a strip mall and then and then you guys can all move in and we'll start a new country and we'll overthrow. What are you gonna call it? We'll overthrow the US. It's gonna be called the UFF. Okay. United Fox Fam. I love it. Just Brilliant. came up with that on the spot. <laughs> Ooh. We might become very good friends. I don't know yet. We still have two houses to look at. I just wanted to officially introduce myself. I'm Tanner. How rude. He's not gonna say man. Thoroughly impressed by this house. Like this is really cool. It's like a full style, like legit ranch. And we didn't even mention this. This is at the front of the house. I just want you all to get on like, the same page. Like just imagine anything in the entire world. Right here, dirt bike pump track, scooter pump track, a full fledged skate park. Like think of the stuff you can do. A few moments later. All right. House number three. This is my personal favorite. Taylor's getting really excited, it has a gazebo. I don't wanna to show too much of this house because I wanna kinda of get a feel for the entire thing. You'll see a lot of it, but for now, just check this out. Oh my God, there's a pond. This is a gazebo and then a, what? Do you know how much calamari we can put in here? We could have live calamari. What if you had a squid farm? So many weird things I wanna do. Look at the tadpoles, are those tadpoles? Are those Tide Pods? <laughs> We're gonna head in, check out the house, um, and we'll see you in a second. Okay, I'll show you guys a little bit of the inside and then we'll, we'll get outside, but check this out. This is so homey. I know it is. I really like this. Like I'm not, like I said it many times, I'm not super into like really, really, really fancy houses. This just feels like homey and like normal. A little peek right out here. in the backyard. It goes, it goes. You can put a crib here. A crib. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like in, in you know, 10 years, we could put a crib. You pregnant? I don't know. We are in the basement, okay? Just go. Go in there. And I haven't even seen the outside. I don't know where this stuff keeps coming from. It's just like there's just more surprises as far as we go along. There's an indoor hot tub. This is insane, man. What is going on? I, I didn't know any of this stuff was here. I just like the look of it. Yeah, I saw the land. This is cool. The fourth house now. But the thing is, it's a part of the third house. Um, well, I'm kind of like speechless right now. This is like wild. Not gonna film too much more of this house. I will show you guys the backyard, but um, must say, I think this is my favorite house we've looked at so far. Again, I don't wanna show too much of this house just because like, I don't wanna like, you know, it's exciting, right? It's just a boat in the middle of the land. We are done filming here. And I'm, I'm like actually speechless. I, I, I really like, I don't hate talking about this, but like I feel like it probably gets annoying to you guys. Just being able to like go see these houses, even just look at them, it's like the most humbling, like crazy experience ever because like it just puts everything into perspective and it like shows how like like strong the Fox fam is and like th this is just wild to me. I, I just want to like say like in this moment, like I want to say thank you everyone. If you've ever watched any of my videos, if you've ever commented, liked, um, if you've ever just seen one of my videos, if you're watching this right now, like thank you. So blessed to be in this position and like I, I obviously 100% would not be standing right here if it were not for you guys, the viewers, and you guys, the Fox fam. So for that, I want to thank you. Um, we're going to finish up looking at this property. Let me know what you think about these three houses. We still have one more to look at. It's even worth it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you at the next house. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. We were originally supposed to be at another house, but what happened? This one was the best. No. The people canceled it on us. We did not go did to the fourth really? house. They Sorry. did. I didn't know. They did. So, I um, anyways, we made it down to the warehouse. My mom has not seen all of the ramps. Neither has Taylor. So we're going to head in there and we're going to see the update on all of the ramps. I know you guys have all been asking. Basically, no one worked yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday and everyone was, it's the weekend. So let's go. Your first time. Come on in here, Taylor. Ready, Taylor? Whoa! Oh! Oh! Dude, look at the mini ramp. This wasn't even here yesterday. Check it out, come over here. This is mine, this is the Tennessee factory. And oh my God, if you actually look behind me, there's a very big blank wall. This is the wall I've been talking about, guys. If you order anything on the website, like I literally mean anything, you get entered in the giveaway and we're painting 10 members of the Fox fam names on that wall. So if you guys wanna win your name permanently inside of the Tennessee factory, there's a link down in the description to my website. Go check it out, there's tons of fun stuff there. It's kind of coming together, so it's hard to kind of avoid it. So I'll still let you guys run your imagination. It's pretty clear that the mini ramp is um, almost done. A little bit of a background story behind this ramp. You guys all know I grew up at Claremont Skate Park and they have a mini ramp that's pretty similar to this. It has a mini spine, mini quarter, a big quarter. And um, that was like my favorite ramp growing up. Like literally my favorite ramp. I think I learned the most tricks on the mini ramp at Claremont. So I wanna have the same setup in here. That way we can all train and we can all ride and learn tricks and overall have a good time. It's a huge deal to me. Like I've always dreamed of having like a quarter pipe. These are the stairs. You guys have seen them installing all this stuff. We have a nice little room up here we have some fun surprises for this room as well as the room under here. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Baby, don't you dare. That's not my channel. Making it up on top of this. I think everyone has seen this. They painted the floors on this. The walls are all crazy colored. Okay, so that's kind of the update on the Tansy Factory. Lots of stuff more to come. We obviously need to fill in these uh, very large holes you see right here. Skate light actually hooked it up with some really, really dope skate light. If you don't know what that is, it doesn't let the ramp like rot and it's really, really smooth. So we're gonna have skate light, like fully legit skate light on here. So shout out to skate light for that. Mini ramp's gonna be super legit. You gotta fill in these holes and then everything's good. What do you think? Are you finally gonna land a backflip now? Yes. Cause remember what happened the first time? I have to. Why you get all weird when we turn the camera on? You get all like. I ain't got nobody on my mind sometimes. I wish I had you, but I don't. That's fine, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I ain't got nobody on my mind sometimes. I wish I had you, but I don't. That's fine, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I woke up this morning super happy Gotta get my caffeine and catch up with my homies Cause we are going up so fast Don't waste time doing things that never will last I've been running faster than ever towards all of my dreams Leaving work at 5 o'clock 
than making these beats. I hope you notice. You just need to focus. Life gets wavy when you just. All right, mom and Mateo are headed back to San Diego. Me and Taylor are actually staying up here because it's Jeremy Bo's birthday. We're all actually very, very exhausted, if you could not tell. We were just at like three different houses and like it was super hot, so we're all really tired. Jessica's here, so bye mom, high five. Bye, hi. Five? High five, you got the Kirby collars. Kirby's getting some new gear. If you guys have dogs, just so you know, we have uh, dog merch. We're leaving, it's finally time to go. Final touches on the mini. This is looking so good. All right, later boys. Dang, is this skate light? Guys, this is like kind of a big deal. I'm pretty sure these little sheets of wood right here, a couple hundred dollars, a rectangle. So the mean ramp's gonna be pretty prime. Two hours later. Current life update. I haven't vlogged in a very large minute. So right now we're at Jessica's house. I didn't film any of that actually. We are going to Jordan and Jeremy's house. Michaela is going to try out for the A team for surf soccer. Shout out to surf soccer for sponsoring this video. Hashtag ad. I'm kidding. No, Michaela's trying out for soccer. Jessica is gonna drop off Michaela. We're headed to their house. We're in the Lexus, yep. and uh, that's what's happening right now. So I'm gonna finish this vlog and we get to their house. So we're at the Bo Bros house. The Bo Bros are not here, I don't think, because you know how they rode on my stairs? We have to figure out something we can do. Oh, they're Ooh. here. Why, did you guys just come? Um, no, you see, I was actually gonna prank you, but I'm giving you a hug now. So how'd you prank me? No, I didn't, I was hey, going Walter, to- Hey, Walter, get inside! Walter! Do you like your stairs? Oh, I love my stairs. They're good, right? Yeah, they're great. It smells very nice in here. Oh, by the way, um, our friendship lies in the Hi. fact that you won't repaint them. Hi, so like, Walter. you know, just like Hello. be friends. I didn't plan on it. So we were at the Bo Bros house now. I said I was gonna end the vlog off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. Do not forget to cop yourself some T-Fox brand apparel. We are doing a giveaway, did you know that? What giveaway? They can win their name painted on the walls of the Tansy Factory. We're picking 10 different- Can I participate? Things. Yeah, you have to order anything from the website, like literally anything. That's tight though, because I like what's on the website. So I'm Cool, awesome, so, boo! Ah! Oh, you got three <laughs> DM it, bro. Yeah, like, bro, were you gonna break me? Yes, okay, roll what's the Fox up? fan, bro. Roll? That's it? Wait, no, 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 no. You gotta show him Tyson first, because he's huge. <gasps> oh, I never met him. I never met Tyson. Jacob! What is this bomber you got going, bro? The whole squad's here. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hello. This is Tyson. Okay. Overwhelmed. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. It's my birthday. I'm gonna roll the outro. See you tomorrow, peace. I didn't even say that. The vlog's not over. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Love you guys. You have to say roll the fox, fam. Roll the fox, fam. Oh hey, if you like this video that you just watched, then like down below, subscribe to his YouTube channel, and get his merch link in the description. Roll the outro. I wish you